In a recent interview with the French outlet Allocene, Alien Covenant director Ridley Scott confirmed that what most fans might have already known. Neil Blomkamp's long-in-development Alien sequel, which would have picked up the franchise's timeline after James Cameron's Aliens, has been canceled. The quote, which was originally printed in French, was translated by the folks over at Comic Book Resources. Speaking about the project, Scott said, There was never a screenplay, just an idea that evolved into a pitch of 10 pages. I was always just a producer, but it didn't go any further because Fox decided that it didn't want to do it. John Byersell, Neil Blomkamp's Alien sequel, ever seen the light of day based on Scott's comments? Oh, even before Scott's comments, I would sell that it was ever going to see the light of day. Look, the writing was on the wall. Once... Once Ridley came back into the picture and Alien Covenant got, got greenlit, you just kind of knew the writers. And then when Scott came out and said, I'm going to make more of these, it's like, okay, this is kind of dumb. This is, this is done, Neil Blomkamp saying. And I think really what probably killed it more than anything else was, what was the name of the damn robot? Frenchy, Marky, Chappy. Chappy. Frenchy, oh, yeah, Chappy was terrible. Um, yeah, that wasn't good. Yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't so good. They and and you know, and Elysium about. was a big was a big letdown. I, I think a lot of people had super high expectations for Elysium, going to, especially because of how amazing District Nine is. But Elysium really was a big letdown. I think a lot of people convinced themselves it wasn't as bad as it was because we remember how good District 9 is. And then, you know, later on future viewings realizing it was quite bad and Chappie was quite bad. And I think that is probably what killed it more than anything else. But it's interesting to hear him say that it was never actually all that far along. That he had some an idea. There was sure he got some sketches made. He says he never got more than a 10-page like treatment. Okay, if that's the case, then it's no not a ton of skin off of anybody's nose. But yeah, I completely sell that we're ever going to see Neil Blomkamp's Alien. I, I don't think we're ever going to see his version of Alien, but there was definitely a time where I believed it was going to happen. Fox picked it up and announced it. That I mean, it's just a really weird way to have handled this whole thing. It was almost like he was actually legitimately working on making that thing happen, and then Ridley Scott just popped up, and he's like, you know what? I want to do my thing, so that's the end of you, and what Ridley Scott says goes. So he just got a really, you know, he was in a really shitty situation where he did some work, and he got people hyped. He had Sigourney Weaver's ear. She was giving quotes for yeah. his movie. It yeah. had to have been in a position where it could have been realistic at a point. I just, I feel kind of bad for Blomkamp with with all the quotes that Ridley Scott has released about this, because it, it just, it, it makes him seem him, you know, not as imp he's not as important clearly in the Alien franchise as Ridley Scott is right now, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a very fair or nice way to handle it. And also, Chappie is not bad. Well, I mean, Chappie let's, is let's, not let's great. Neil, but Chappie is not bad. Neil Blomkamp is not as important in the Aliens universe as Lance Hendrickson at this point. I mean, he really hasn't really done anything for that franchise yet. What do you think about all this? Well, I think Lance Hendrickson is very important to many franchises, like <laughs> Aliens and Hard Target. But yeah, I sell this ever. I love Hard Target. Hard Target's great, and he's great in it. Uh, I, I sell this ever seeing the light of day for a lot of the reasons you guys are saying, but also like the one thing that the Neil Blomkamp version could always cling to is that Sigourney Weaver's excited about it. So we have Ripley, who's pumped to be in this project, but when you started hearing her talk about it, it seemed like they had like a script. It was like they're ready to shoot. As soon as, as, soon as Ridley Scott says, okay, let me make my movie, and then y'all go make your movies. And so when this really started to feel like the House of Usher is when R Ridley Scott said, oh, no, we're not just making Alien Covenant. We want to make, like, I, I got three more of these in the can. Yeah. And now I don't know if those three movies, I don't know if he said, do those all take place before Alien? Not sure. Or, or does one of those take place? Because I would love to see Ellen Ripley back, and I want to see Sigourney Weaver play her after the events of Aliens. I would love to retcon Alien 3. If you think it's a cute movie and it's a nice early body work for David Fincher, that's fine. I'd love to get that out of the universe and have a proper sequel to Aliens. That's what I want to see. Neil Blomkamp, I loved Elysium. I loved District 9. I thought Chappie was pretty horrific. <laughs> so I want to see him get back on, on, on the winning side of the ledger with something. This doesn't appear it's going to be an Alien movie.